There's that fire alarm Sam is always cool and calm If you're stuck, give him a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way For Fireman Sam Cause he's gonna save the day Fireman Sam Cause he's way to the call Sam is the hero next door Norman. What are you up to now? Nothing, ma'am. Nothing? With my broom? And that's one of my good blankets. Ma'am, I need that. I'm going camping. How am I going to make a tent without a broom and blanket? Camping? Oh, Norman. Camping is dirty, dangerous and... Camping is great fun. Oh, hello, Trevor. I didn't see you there. I love camping. The great outdoors, fresh air, Beautiful nature. I used to be a boy scout, you know. Oh, really? I bet you look very smart in your uniform. <laughs> right, men and woman. It's springtime again, and we all know what that means, don't we? Flowers? No, Cridlington. It means campers, hikers and picnickers. And with them comes a greater risk of fires. Forest fires, grass fires. Each type of fire requires special techniques and special tools. <laughs> like floppy shovels. <laughs> That's a beater, Elvis, for smothering grass fires. Tell me, Norman, have you ever slept out in a real tent or cooked supper on a real campfire? Yeah, of course I have. Loads of times. No, you haven't. You wanted to sleep out in the garden once, but you came in again when it got dark. Oh, Mum, I was only three. <laughs> Norman, I was just wondering if you'd like me to take you camping sometime. Yes, you bet I would. That would be brilliant. OK, well, if you're that keen, how about this weekend? Oh, my, Trevor, that sounds wonderful. Sitting out under the stars can be so aromatic. I can't wait. But I... Oh, yes, I love the great outdoors. No, you don't, Mum. I wonder if you realise what you're letting yourself in for, Trevor. I'll have you know, I'm a very experienced camper, Sam. I know how to light a campfire safely. I used to be a Boy Scout. <laughs> I'm sorry, Trevor. I didn't mean to question your camping skills. I meant, uh, Norman Price. Oh, I see what you mean. Norman, come and help me with my suitcases. Oh, I wish she didn't have to come too. <laughs> Have fun, everybody! Perhaps I should give Mountain Rescue a call, just to be on the safe side. Camping can be very dangerous, ma'am. Uh, you'll need to keep a lookout for wild cats for a start. Wild cats? Uh, of course, you don't have to stay if you don't want to, ma'am. Don't listen to Norman. There aren't any wild cats on Ponty Pandy Mountain. There could be. What about escaped zoo animals that have gone back to the wild? Don't be silly. I, I saw a story on telly about a ferocious lion that was roaming the hills for years. At night, you could hear it roar. Maybe we should camp near the bus. OK. Uh, you can do that if you like. Or, or you could ask Trevor to take you home again. In the meantime, I'm going to find a good camping spot. Uh, uh, don't worry about me. I know how to handle a wild lion. Norman! Wait! It's only Norman. Oh, thanks a lot, Trevor. Come on, ma'am. We better start collecting firewood. Oh, honestly, Dillis, there really is nothing to be frightened of. The biggest danger in the woods is people, the most likely cause of forest fires. F forest fires? Yes, that's why I'm building the campfire so carefully. No! Oh! Once, some campers didn't realise that the woods were on fire until the flames reached their tents. 
Uh, no, Sam, no signs of trouble at the moment. Well, I just wanted to let you know that Trevor is camping up there tonight with Norman Price. <laughs> OK, Sam, uh, point taken. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, there we go. I think that's just about hot enough to cook on now. All we need is the pot and something to put in it. Oh, fire! Forest fire! The trees are on fire! Oh, no! Uh, ow! Uh, come on! Uh, everyone back to the mess! No! Dennis! This way! Help! Call fireman Sam! A fire on Ponty Paddy Mountain? Ponty Pandy Mountain, Sam. Metro alert, Tom. Hello, Tom. We're on our way. We just got word of the fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Are you sure, Sam? Oh, OK. Uh, standing by. <laughs> yeah, I can't see any smoke. Where was the fire you saw, Dillis? There! I saw the bright orange flames glowing through the trees. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ma'am, that's the sunset. Norman Price, if you hadn't been telling your mother so many scary stories, this never would have happened. If you're going to carry on like this, we might as well go home right now. Sorry, Trevor. Sorry, Ma'am. I, I promise not to tell any more stories. Well, we better call back and tell the fire brigade it was a false alarm. <laughs> what? A false alarm? There, uh, stand down, men and woman. False alarm, there's no fire. Repeat, stand down, men. It's a false alarm, Elvis. We'd better go back. There's the fire. I'd better phone Sam and let him know. Hello? Hello, Sam. I've located the fire. You'd better get up here. Uh, we're on our way. You tell Station Officer Steele what's happened. Norman Price, what did I tell you about making up all these scary stories? No, I, I'm not making it up. It's true. Come and look. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, dear. We should never have left the campfire unattended. Tom Thomas calling, Sam. I'm on my way. Where are you? We're just arriving, Tom. Penny, Elvis, bring the hoses. The fire is too far from the road for the hoses to reach Tom. We'll have to use flex packs and beaters. No worries, Sam. I'll build up the water tanks. I can help you from the air. <laughs> I love these floppy shovels. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sam. I should have known better than to leave the campfire unattended. I was a Boy Scout, you know. I know, Trevor, but even Boy Scouts sometimes have accidents. Oh, dear. Are you sure he's safe camping out there on his own, Sam? <laughs> yes, Dillis. Quite sure. Sam 